How you doing everybody? This is Top Shotter here. I'm going to do a video on some gaming news. This is regarding EA and Battlefield 4. So I thought this article was very interesting because one of my clan members is having the same issues and he's really upset about it and I can understand his frustration. So the article starts off, EA blocks free Battlefield 4 China Rising DLC from customers upgrading from current to next gen. So China Rising codes provided with PS3 versions don't carry over to next gen, users claim. So what's going on here is that <clears throat> if you have the PS3 version of Battlefield 4 and you pay to upgrade it to PS4, um, you do get the redeem code for the China Rising DLC. But if you try to use that code now on for PS4, it, um, it will not work and you actually have to pay for that DLC. Whereas um, where I bought my Battlefield 4 on PlayStation 4, my DLC code works fine and I get it for free. So these users are now being restricted from playing. Then now they can pay the ten dollar fee to upgrade, but now they have to pay for the DLC, which I think is really low business practices by EA. And it's really sad to see that even Dice, in a lot of ways, is allowing this to go on um, with the current condition of the game and the problems that it's been having. This is really just a slap in consumers' faces, and um, you know, a lot of people have put up with the problems and are still playing the games and are trying their best to enjoy it, and this is just another way of EA, you know, kind of slapping the consumer in the face, and it's just, it's just horrible. So, one of the users here has said um, that after they bought BF4 for their PS3, they waited to redeem the download code for PS4, and when they plugged it in, um, the redeem code for BF4 on PS4, it just wouldn't work. They told them they'd have to pay. And what the consumer, um, sorry, what the customer service at EA had said was there are two conditions of getting the China Rising expansion. The rep is alleged to have said, customers should have pre-ordered Battlefield 4 for their next-gen consoles at full price, or customers should have purchased Battlefield 4 Premium for either Gen 3 or Gen 4. So they're saying, in other words, you should have bought it on <laughs> next-gen consoles, or you should order premium and i mean it's just ridiculous that they're doing this to people um if you upgrade one version of a game to another and you pay for the upgrade the dlc should come along if you paid for that game full price we all paid the same price for the game and it just makes no sense and you can just see some of these comments that some people have made here that this is just stupid that it makes no sense and that i can agree with that and i really agree with one of my clan members um being upset about this and the business practices that um, are coming out of this game and just the overall problems and the way that EA is handling it I'm really disappointed to see um, a developer like DICE realizing and seeing all these problems and still kind of associating themselves with this kind of publisher it's very disappointing I'm very impressed with the graphics in the game I enjoy the game I like it the last patch really helped up a lot of issues and stability on PS4 so I'm really happy to see that but I still believe that the business practice by EA are just horrible and a lot of people understand this and it's just really really sad to see that um, they're going this far doing this you know with a uh, with consumers so I hope you enjoyed this news article thank you for watching and I'll see you on the battlefield Joe peace out